So you know how to cast to third person character, but how do you cast to anything else? Third person character just needs get player character, but what in the damn hell do we use for anything else? Relax, I got you. It's a simple tool you'll use in just about any project referencing anything else, so you'll memorize it very quickly the more you use it. And if you don't, you can help me out by watching this video every single time to remember how to do it. The steps are very simple, so follow along. In this example, my character overlaps a trigger box displaying a tutorial that I want to go away once the player kills this NPC. So how do we get this to work? Ideally, we open the trigger box, cast to our enemy, in my project she's named Enemy Zypher, and this is where you're stuck. We know we want to check for the variable is dead, but when we compile, we get this error message and we don't know what to connect to this object pin here. So the solution is actually nice and easy. We're gonna tell Unreal to check for the class of our enemy Zypher and check for its variables. So from the event tick, we're gonna get all actors of class, select Zypher. And what this is doing is telling Unreal, hey, check for every single spawned enemy in the class Zypher. So spawned Zypher 1 through a million, we can check for their variables, and then get a copy. Now the get a copy note is important, because say for example in my project, I'm gonna have duplicates of the base Zypher enemy spread out all throughout my map, and each one is gonna have a number. We'll have Zypher 1, Zypher 2, Zypher 3, etc. And we want to check for this specific NPC's variables, not all of the enemy Zyphers. So in my level, I actually already have an enemy Zypher spawned further down the map, so this one here is actually Zypher 1. Remember, in Unreal, number 1 starts at 0, so enemy 0 is here, enemy 1 is here. So in the trigger box blueprint, after we're getting the class of enemy Zypher, we're going to get a copy and use copy 1's variables and check for is dead. And when the tutorial pops up, and once this NPC specifically dies, the tutorial will go away. And that is pretty much it. That's what you connect into the object node of any actor. As always, if you need help, please drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help out. See you in the next video. Bye!